Before I left school yesterday, I looked at my classroom, not to check and make sure the floor was clean or to look for coats left behind or water bottles on the floor or rows askew. Rather, it was to glance at the line of sight from my door. I spent my last minutes in my room debating whether I needed to rearrange my desks in case an active shooter came up the stairs and through my door. This was the plan that was initially on Michelle Pearson's mind as she left her eighth grade social studies classroom Tuesday. As the story of a credible threat quickly developed, so did her agenda. After a day where schools across the Denver metro area canceled classes, she now focuses on what she'll say to students returning to their second home. We know that situations like this for many are concerning and students internalize things just as adults do in very different ways. Many districts are using talking points from the National Association of School Psychologists. The first one being to make sure students feel they're safe. Something Nine wants to know found to be true following a school shooting in Parkland, Florida. Recently, the National Center for Education Statistics found what many experts in this field already know. Schools remain the safest place for any child during his or her day. During the 2013-2014 school year, for example, more than 1,000 kids in America were murdered. 98.9% .9 of them died not inside a school, but outside of one. But now we're going to move forward together and they won't be standing alone in doing that. And neither will our families and our community. Michelle says even though the threat may be over, her work is just beginning. I will never be prepared to think about threats made today that could eliminate a tomorrow for any of us. Unfortunately, this is the reality of being a teacher and a parent in our society right now. Jordan Chavez, 9 News. Michelle says she sees another problem with her students and it's indifference. The older students have begun to think that school lockouts and lockdowns are just normal. So part of the conversation she intends to have is to recognize the impact of what really happened.